So if you checked out my most recent episode, you'll know that last week I was in Italy, where I was working on a top secret slime house project that I can't even talk about yet, but while I was there, I also did a little bit of toy hunting. I went to Toy Sissimi in Rome, which was very awesome and very overwhelming, and as I mentioned in that episode, I was also going to catch up with my good friend Francesco and film some of his collection later in the week. So my friend is Francesco Ristori, who is not only the curator of the Florence Toy Museum, but also an author, an incredibly clued up toy historian, and also owner of the most impressive Japanese jumbo robot collection that I've ever seen. I'd not seen him for like four years, so I was very much looking forward to going to visit him. And of course, I filmed the whole thing to show you lot how we got on. So if that sounds like something that you might find interesting, then sit back, make sure you're comfy, and get yourselves ready for another brand new international episode of Slime House TV. What's cracking people? Welcome back to Slime House TV, I'm Theo Kane and if you've watched the last episode you'll know that right now we are in Rome. So today I'm going to Florence which is a train ride outside Rome like an hour and a half away but I'm going to go and see someone that you might have seen on this channel before, my good friend Francesco Restore. I've never been to his house before, I've seen pictures and he showed me stuff but I've never actually been there so I'm going to go there myself today. He's also got one of the most impressive jumbo machine collections that I've ever seen and as you know if you watched the last video I'm trying to get one while I'm in Rome. So who knows maybe he'll have a spare to sell me let's see how we get on so the train to florence is pretty much a direct route with no stops so my boy vega drove me to the station made sure that i got to the right platform and on the right train and from there i made my way to meet francesco leaving rome behind me for the day so once I'd met up with him, we got some food and then headed back to the house where he keeps his collection. He also wanted to let me know that this is a house that's currently just been used as his office. He was also right in the middle of unpacking after doing some exhibition stuff and had been moving things around. Nothing was really put back in the right place, so half of it wasn't displayed properly. But I told him I don't care about that. I'm just happy to hang out and see some awesome toys. And as you'll see from the stuff that I filmed, he's got some serious plastic in his collection. So as soon as we got there, he wasted no time in showing me some of his standout pieces. Timenic. The guy I used to tell you before is a hybrid between a Microman and Henshin Cyborg. You see, it's beautiful. <laughs> At least uh, to me, it looks beautiful. It is beautiful. Look at the graphics. I mean, it's the ultimate uh, Cyborg. Takara, still. Takara, Takara. We love Takara. Yeah, we do. Of Taimanic for uh, Meiji candies. You could just get it with, uh, you know, Coupon. Okay, that's oh, the only candies. way to get this one. I'm admiring these stands as well. These are old toy shop stands. Transformer, the stands that yeah, you're on. Yeah, the stands original for, for Jig uh, Transformer. This is the first uh, new G.I. Joe, Japanese new G.I. Joe from 71. They modified. Uh, they look so see, different They had sculpt. Yeah, the G.I. Joes in Italy, they look so different. I was looking at them at the Toy Sissimi Because the other day. they started later. Yeah, not like ours. We, we had like a, a lot of 70s G.I. Joes with, you know, beard and... Yeah, yeah. You know. The ones we got in England, 60s, 70s flock, and 80s. Flock action hair. Man and G.I. Joe. Yeah. With yeah, the Kung Fu man, grip yeah. and all this, but they look so different here. Still, you can uh, rebuild uh, the history, you know, from uh, new G.I. Joe to uh, the Diaclone drivers. I mean... Yeah, yeah. Technically, they are called the Diaclone Corps. Yeah, not not, not the cadaver, but the soldiers. Yeah, <laughs> not a cadaver. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, this is a great sofubi. Huh? Godam, big sofubi from Takara. Carded as well. You don't really yeah, see too much card, carded yeah, sofubi. Yeah. There are two big um, Godam uh, sofubis. One is uh, from Takara, and the other one is from Sanzen. There is a uh, nice uh, graphics. Because uh, all of those uh, series from Tatsunoko production, the anime series, uh, used to have great uh, character designers. Yeah, the Baldios, the Ghost Shogun, the X Bomber, Die X or Starfleet for you yeah, guys. Yeah, Star Bri Brian Mate, Brian <laughs> yeah, Starfleet. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Go Lion, the, the um, God Sigma, Trider G7. Uh, that is in English, uh, Yatto Dettaman. Kinder Man in, in Italy, Mekanda Robo, Die Baron, uh, Voltes 5, very popular in the Philippines, Zambo 3, Gordian, that is uh, okay, uh, is wrapped for, um, for an exhibit, is Dyton 3, 
Gundam DX, Gundam with no G armor, but still DX. And then we have uh, Tatsunoko stuff. We have the ships for uh, Mechander. Um, we have some Titan 3. There is a, uh, yeah, uh, Acrobunch Keio. And then we have all, all of the Dinosaur Catchers <laughs> series, like Kuseidon and stuff, you know. Then we have Yamato, or Star Blazer, whatever. Strategy the G7, Gundam, Daikango with no outer box, and Zambo 3. Up there, brown boxes. There is the one with a big X, is a Gloiser X from Nakajima. Look at this giant Gorg, man. Giant Gorg is one of the few uh, Jumbo machines that are made by Takara. Can dice a bag. I can unwrap it for you. Oh, please. Ta da! From the last uh, exhibit from uh, the 80s, Italian 80s, influenced mainly by Japanese anime and uh, American TV series. We had a lot of American TV series on Italian TV. Not not everybody knows that's that. That's like mint. That's like brand new. Yeah. This bag, it's like... It's brand new. It's like you just bought it today. It's written Goldohack. is a French name for Grandizer. Yeah. In Italian, it's Goldrick. But we had uh, both. Uh, Goldrack and Goldrack uh, and Goldrick at the same time in the stationery stores. You know, so we stuff for kids and pencils uh, and uh, papers and stuff. So it's very 70s. <laughs> Love it. Everything is uh, made in uh, fake leather or uh, cotton. Vegan. Vegan, 100% vegan. Bright colors, shiny. But I don't think I never use it uh, no. as a proper bag. <laughs> it's a collectible, collectible. Ooh, this big mo motorman. This is a uh, uh, Takoro. From Mute King. Mute King, yeah, not Mute Man. Uh, the cool thing of this uh, toy, I mean, uh, is a piggy bank. And oh, got inside cashier. you have little uh, cashy, little rubbers, and the sheriff uh, star. Sheriff badge. <laughs> is a pin. Uh, it has a, yeah. the needle. Just when you open it. So, yeah. and it's very cheap, actually. You can buy it for very cheap. But for me, it's an absolutely gorgeous uh, item. Then I, I like half transparent things and different I love materials. transparent toys. Ah. Something about transparent toys I love. That's why I love the Shonen Cyborg. I love the Gundam uh, when they're transparent. Uh, yes. Over here, you've got all these Evangelion and stuff and this Wind Spectre. These are all like more modern uh, ones, right? I mean, Evangelion doesn't have a, a vintage, uh, you know, version. Yeah. I think those are the most vintage ones you could get. I think those Bandai are pretty cool. And what, what era are them? Are they, are they original uh, gun, uh, Eva or are they rebuild? No, 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 original. These are 90s ones. Yeah, yeah, from the animated series. Wind Spectre was another uh, series with three guys uh, with the vehicles and uh, armors and stuff, you know. Yeah, I know Wind Spectre. <laughs> These are really cheap, like mm. a loose one, maybe 20 bucks. But it's still, a, I mean, a good toy. I don't judge toys by the price. No, no, <laughs> we, we collect what we like. Some collectors do. Some collectors. Yeah, we were saying, weren't we? Some people only want graded, some people only want expensive and rare. We just like what we like. I mean, it's legit. Unfortunately, a lot of the stuff that we like happens to be very yeah. rare and expensive, yeah. but not everything. <laughs> so this is a transforming toy. I mean, it's pretty cool. You got so many of these DVDs around as well. Seeing Jig Robot, Captain Harlock. All, all the, all the classics. For, uh, for, yeah, but if you want to shoot some nice... Uh, Devil Man, love it. That original Gonagi Devil Man. One more thing, Tiger oh, Mask. Oh, yes, 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 Tiger Mask. First series, second series of Octo Noken. Here is religion. <laughs> oh, there is the prisoner. Yeah. I'm not an Ambar, I'm a free man. I've been to where they filmed the prisoner. It's in Wales. It's called Port Marion. Uh, and there's a shop for the, uh, you can buy all the merch there. It's your stuff, it's your stuff. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I yeah, love you'd it, love actually. it at Port Marion. Russ Myers, yeah. another classic. I mean, to be movies so much. First, because I grew up with that. It was, during the VHS era, it was like a forbidden, you know, prohibited thing. Oh, yeah. By the parents, ooh, you know, no. And by the law in England, we had the whole video nasty thing, like. But even it was uh, like, Kubrick. Yeah, yeah, Kubrick banned his own movie, yeah. 
a clockwork orange. Yeah, they think it was more of a publicity stunt, but it worked. I didn't watch it until <laughs> I was uh, 18, but I did it at the age of 14, but you know. This is a... Uh, That's nothing. This is the little secret. This is the secret hiding spot for the stuff that we're not displaying. I like to see people's collections. I like to see the stuff that's out, but I also like to see what have you not displayed? Where's the jumbled up stuff that's not quite finished, not quite complete, or you love, whatever you reason it's not on display? Cyborg. Oh, I love it's these. It's a Shonen uh, Cyborg Boy. Shonen that's boy. it. So I have some of these, but the boxes blue, on blue, mine blue are- Blue variant. Blue variant, yeah. I have the same one, but the boxes on mine are terrible. They're like deteriorating. I need to get some protective cases made for them. Yeah. I love this. This is the, this is the best. I love Still this. Still intact. I love it. Main conditions. Yeah, yours is. I have is. to admit that uh, ancient cyborgs are some of my favorite toys, even if they were not uh, ever imported in Italy at no, the time. No, no, no. And obviously we got the Muton and, and stuff in England, but not, we yeah. didn't get everything they got. If you look inside these, the catalogs are incredible. There's some incredible catalogs inside there, showing all the different uniforms and the things. Come and ride the V3, and all the this stuff. And the bad guys have internal organs. Yes, in yes, yes. I love it. We love the transparent toys. See, these are the Takara Lego style. Takara Lego style transforming car robot, you see? They were exported directly from Takara. This is kind of a chronoform, you know, era and chronoform graphics, but just saying Robotroid in US. Just in Robotroid. the US. Robotroid. I've got a friend, Toys R Us, who just collects Transformers. He'll either love to see that or he could uh, definitely of course, appreciate we have, we it. We have the, the US version <laughs> because because you're Francesco and of course you do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see. Oh, they're, wonderful. Yeah, they're awesome. A wonderful package. Transformers, into Lego. This Fight kind Takara. of a triangle uh, box, you see? Yeah. Like the first big Yeah, gym. no, I like it. I like the, the, <laughs> the, uh, the conclave box, as you call it. But like, made by Takara directly. So um, no Western uh, civilization involved uh, to destroy uh, the mood. You see? Uh, okay, France, uh, Diaclone, uh, interchangeables, so, so the, those are variants of Micronauts, rare color schemes and whatever. That used to be mine. From childhood. Yeah, the Playmobil Kindergarten. I'm <laughs> so blown away by this room, everywhere I look there's so anyway, much anyway, gold in here. I'm anyway, so blown away. I want to show you something else. You show me some good stuff. Okay, I'm on, I'm on the two camera, I'm on a two camera setup thing right now. I don't, I don't think you're prepared. This is when I need belt legs. <laughs> That's my camera guy, bent legs. I need him today. It's all good. We got this. We're trying. We're trying. We're trying. The show must go on. There is some good stuff in here. Oh, there is. Look at that. Il Grande. Yeah, I got all, all of the versions, you know, or the variants. Dia clone. That's beautiful. Double soldier is pretty rare nowadays. This guy under the bubbles. And those are model kits from Takara. These are uh, Varudarus. Is the only villain uh, matcher. They join together and they make a giant robot with, with you know, bug-eyed uh, pilots. There are the, the, there is the gift set for Japan, the gift set for Italy, and the three boxes for Japan only. There is a diaclone kite, and you're gonna take that out later. And behind there are some battle convoys. <laughs> the this is the French one. Oh yeah, diaclone, diaclone. Dia <laughs> He knows it. <laughs> he knows it well. But he's incredible. I have a, I have a Yamato kite. Yeah. For the, the battleship. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I show you. Infla I believe you. Inflatable. I inflatable, believe you. inflatable kite for Yamato. Francesco's going to show me something that he said he's hidden. He's got a little uh, something secret and hidden. You need some tiger mask. Oh, for me. <laughs> always, 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 always. We love Safube. All tiger mask. My doubles, my doubles. Oh, really? Okay. When his guests come round, he gives them one of them as a oh, gift. Oh, you need a uh, Lion Maru kid pullover. Oh, I love Lion Maru. Oh, yeah, kid, kid pullover. pullover. <laughs> It'd fit my My Pet Monster. It'd fit the jumbo. Put it on a jumbo. Eh, hey, probably. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Lion Maru. I in love Lion Maru. Lion Man Maru G. I love In this. Italian, it used to be called Ultra Lion. Okay. Like Ultraman, you know? Ultra yeah, yeah, Lion. yeah. We love skull guys. Yeah. Of course. Skulls are always the With the, the red star. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the original Ghostbusters. Original Ghostbusters, the, the little rubber, you know, Spanish. Uh, you know, Ayao Miyazaki. 
with the studio Pagot in Italy. They made a co-production during the 80s with the Rai Television, Italian state television, to make the Sherlock Holmes TV series. We have some... Got all these tiger masks. Look at this. <laughs> so, uh, would these have been purchased in Italy or were these from Japan? I know obviously it's originally Japan, but because you guys had tiger masks, would these have been bought in Italy? Because we, have, uh, we, ha we used to have the Uomo Tigre, Tiger Man. Yeah. Um, it's been very popular during the 80s. Even if the original anime is from 69 and the original manga is from 67. In fact, those toys by Nakajima are from the 60s. You're looking at 60s toys. Yeah, I love Nakajima. Oh, look at this guy. Kamikaze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Check his mask, that's how we know. I, I love this one. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have antennas. The, spi the Spider-Man. <laughs> but you know what? Those colors are the ones from the manga. Now, Todate has kind of, uh, you know, kind of a bit childish traits mm. because in the manga is more childish. they all do though these the, the ultraman ones and stuff they always look really young exactly in the face. exactly is the first version with uh, everything is yellow and not orange you see the slip and uh, and the mask those are the leftovers <laughs> because uh, i collect them loose you know yeah Unfortunately, it doesn't have the, the horns, you know. In, he's broke off. In vinyl, in vinyl. Yeah, like, yeah. This is yeah, Baba as Zebra Man. <laughs> in the TV series, uh, he pretends he's a, um, you know, a masked new wrestler. <laughs> but he's Baba. So, you know, he's Clark Kent. Yeah. Put your glasses on. Nobody can recognize who you are. Yeah, those ones. <laughs> Then we have a, a few other guys in a bigger size. This is the medium size. But the medium size line made um, the ring. Okay, yeah. And, the, and, and all of the characters, I mean, 20, more than 20 characters. It's so dope. It just misses the clock. Yeah, the clock. Now nah, that's beautiful. The Lion Man. <laughs> that is beautiful. It's much bigger, huh? Yeah, he's incredible. In comparison to the other guys. He's missing the, the clock mate. and the boots. Mint, mate. I love it. Yeah, so you get this a lot with Real Sufube. Enough. A kid has wrote his name, like Andy in Toy Story. Like, that's a thing in Japan that you see. And I always love when you get the Sufube and it's got the name on. Some people don't like it. I like it. It's got such a history when there's that. a kid that wrote his name on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It has a this story. is like lots of different kids as well. He, he passed through lots of hands. Oh, uh. this is a beautiful one. Those guys, uh, uh, you know, that from the Liar of Tigers sent to Japan to, to defeat uh, Tiger Mask. Look at the box. The car is Microman zone. With barefoot. The very first uh, uh, they have the boots. There are four of them. Men. This is number one. <laughs> With accessories, you see, uh, backpack, flying, uh, whatever. <laughs> I can't help it. Yeah, insane. I get it. I get it. You ain't going to justify it to me. <laughs> I get oh, it, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, John Pomeroy. Oh. An original piece. I, I met him randomly. <laughs> Just randomly, yeah? Yeah. He, he was here in Florence uh, with the it's Nemo Academy. Pete's Dragon. Elliot, the Invisible Dragon. Yeah, it's called Pete's Dragon in England. How is it? Yeah, Pete's Dragon. Ah, Pete. And he has a giant dragon friend. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pete's Dragon, yeah, Pete's Dragon. <laughs> Drawn on a pizzeria napkin by the original guy. That's incredible. Chances of meeting him, and then going for pizza with him. <laughs> Sci-fi figures. This lovely backpack. Why not? 
Yeah, it really is. For mirror man. Oh. You got a mirror man as well behind it. I just saw something really interesting. Yes. I love this. One of my sure. favorites. Sure. This is what I'm talking about. I love Ta -ta -ta. this. <laughs> it's late gonna guy from '89. This is Gonna Guy series. Yeah, yeah, I love the series. We can open it. Ta -ta -da. Right, cool. Here we go. It's a big one as well. I have one that's like half the size, Dragon King. You mean... Uh, there he is, Dragon kind, King. Kind of recent, yet good toy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the last of like the stuff that I like to pick 89, up. 89, 89. Yeah, oh, that's great. 89, I was born in 88, that's, that's old to me. Still in the styrofoam, so that's a good sign of a, for a good toy. <laughs> we got to get this out. Yeah. We got to do it. <laughs> the incredible thing is, <laughs> look at that. There is a combat Joe wearing the costume, you know. It's like he's infiltrating Toho. He's the actual actor from 1981. It's a very complicated toy. Huh? You see this, this logo here, is a gang of Gojira. All the products, uh, including including uh, egg monsters, you know. Yeah. They have this uh, little logo, this little label on. Same one. Yeah. Ah, look at that. <laughs> Explains you have uh, to like seal the combat joint inside the Gojira costume. You have this Velcro spine, you know, piece. Okay, this is the combat Joe. This is head and hands. I'm sorry guys, but I cannot mount it because... Uh, no, no, we don't want to take it sealed. out. Yeah, we're not taking it out, we're just looking. Rubber, rubber, empty rubber. It's beautiful, right? look at the sides. It's one six sides, you know? It's perfect. It's a real action figure. Mm. Got both heads. And you cannot beat Japanese people with things like that. Not when it comes to toys. Toys and robots. Call it a day. Tap out now. Metagalactic Llamas battle at the edge of time. We fight spiders. For me, it's hilarious, but it spits and it the spit bounces and strikes <laughs> a spider. <laughs> this diaclone thing, <laughs> I want to show you guys for the fire truck, you see? Yeah. R and R is a diaclone real robot, real and robot. And so it used to hang in the middle of the store. Oh, amazing. Because, you know, on the back, it was the last... Spins, oh, that is great. MC. So two toys in one, two, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mikuroman uh, series. Two displays Nine. in one, that's fire. <laughs> okay. So you're saying that this one has a, an unusual colored saddle? Uh, the roof. The roof of it. Yeah. Painful, yeah, for collectors to unpack. Really, because they're scared to. Yeah, you don't know damage. what you're opening up to. Yeah, he might be holding it together that bubble wrap. Yeah, <laughs> forever. You can proceed like that. Okay. Our plush dino. So, it's what color is that normally? Plush on the roof. 
and it has the, the spots. Usually is a, is a bright uh, yellow. Yeah, that's a classic I've seen people go nuts for many times. It's just a, hmm. a beauty. Marx. Marx toys from the 60s. Yeah. It's not my usual item, you know, mm. that I collect. But when I saw it, you know, I fell in love with it. So, you know how things go. You had to do it, yeah. Sometimes something just takes you. And just having it in this condition after all these years, it looks like yeah. the fur on it looks brand new. It looks reproduction. It's so nice. Yes, I unfortunately I don't have a box, but <laughs> I think sometimes you have to accomplish. Yo, yeah, yeah. Magnetic. Yeah, <laughs> full-on uh, Micronaut bodies. With an alternative Gundam head. Yeah, I love the head. Who don't want that head instead of a cowboy? It used to be by um, Litardi from Rome. Cavalieri Stellari, Space uh, Knights. Magnetized. They just made the magnetic ones in Italy. Yeah. With the uh, Micronauts or Kotetsu Jig bodies. They're just three characters. Captain Cosmo, Jack, Eel, Scare Face. And the three steeds, Vigilante, Metallion, Steed. Jesus. Oh, is a, this is Jesus. This is impressive because you have all of the variants. For instance, Fire Truck. Ooh, Fire Truck. You have the two variants, Japanese variants. The Italian variant and the Finnish. All the Diaclone you could ever want. Truck crane. Italian is rare. Japanese is rarer. But the Finnish made a mix between the Italian graphics and, and Japanese graphics. And we still don't know how yeah, and why know. they they were out in, uh, in Finland. See, to me, that's Trailbreaker, that's Hound, that's Sunstreaker, Sideswipe, Hauler or Grappler. I know all their, their American names, yeah. But in Italy, yeah. uh, the cartoon was dubbed with different names really? for the G1. Oh, okay. So this is not G1, this is before the G1. Italian 84 catalog, and uh, you can see there are Transformer, Black Star, Eagle Force. Uh, this Transformer, this graphics is Italian. Oh, this is in, in Italy. Uh, this is a, a very classic, iconic toy. The Galeone for the pirates. This is very ugly. Yes. <laughs> Logo ne never, never used again anymore. <laughs> but you can see even Japanese variants like the black Honda that never or, or the yellow never been distributed Black in Italy. Star. Japanese boxes, we don't know. Black Star, Black Star, they had all of the line. And the Eagle Force. And that Black Star castle is really hard to find. The playset just for the evil ones, just for Overlord. Because it looks cool. Here's the golden one. We have the mistake, the type of mistake, Polsh. Instead of Porsche. It's spelled wrong. Porsche. Then they fix that. So I have all the four. You have every variant, yeah. Even the, even the mess up one. I know, I know. Uh, collecting is sick. But um, <laughs> stickers, uh, catalogs, whatever. This is the National Panasonic uh, instruction book for the kids' uh, uh, bicycle. A real bicycle. Okay. Lights and sound. And th this was the suggested price. You should write a book about toys. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to cut to it then. Oh, those are ah, kids' books. It looks so cool. Ah, for me, th this is maximum. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I love the layout. A picture with this one, all the variants uh, of the fire truck and the promotional, uh, you know, sign. Yeah, uh, you could. Sign. The train combiners that all stick together. Toys R Us had them when we went to his house and uh, to yeah, Baru so Darus, dope. The only villain robot. He's got the dopest insect <laughs> head. Uh, of course in a you know in a city. Uh, <laughs> come on, come on. We know him as Grimlock. Dino Roberts. Because in Italy Yeah, that's a dope setting. Yeah, this is the Diaclone line 
and they never made the pterodactyl that was out in Japan uh, in the swoop we are calling. Yeah, swooping the G1. In the G1 uh, had a different color scheme. Yeah, they did. Yeah. It's blue and red, like uh, all of the diachrons. Again. Yeah, I love those ones. <laughs> against real dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah. Commonly, you can see dinosaurs uh, walking in cities <laughs> in the streets. <laughs> it's the end of the story. <laughs> They're killing the real dinosaurs. Yeah. From Mikuroman with the toy, you know. That's awesome. Yeah. These illustrations can be found uh, found only in this magazine. Can you imagine this kind of work? Everything on paper to make everything, like illustrations with this detail, you know? Bam! You know, futuristic future. You see? Space sports. Yeah, sick, like rollerball. <laughs> Never realized in, in the toy line, no, so no. just for the fantasy. Psychedelic stuff. And they are Mikuroman, you see? So the size is a scale one to one. But look at that, you see? It's amazing. Nikon, or Nikon as you wish, but. Advertising in there. Yeah, advertising. I think maybe this is the best image, advertising image of this volume. I love all of them. I'm really crazy for those guns. Microman guns for a micro change series. They were not evil guys, no yeah, Megatron yeah. yet. Even just maybe robots uh, helping humans. 357 uh, Magnum. <laughs> it's From... like Snake Plissken's scope on there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cool toy, yeah? Dinosaurs, you see. Uh, they, made, they made an exclusive uh, logo for. Dinosauro ro Robo. Be a good t shirt. No pterodactyl, you see? No, no swoop. So by this point, we'd been going through Francesco's collection for hours and had still barely scraped the surface of it, but we was rapidly losing light. The time that I had to be back at the station for my train back to Rome was vastly approaching. So before I had to start getting ready, there was just one thing left that I needed to sort out. So if you watched my last episode, you'll know that I were very keen to pick up a jumbo machinder for myself while I was on this trip. And although I saw quite a few at Toys to Simmer, I decided to hold onto my cash, hoping that I could instead get one from Francesco. So the time was kinda now, with just 30 minutes left before I had to be back on my train. It was time to find out whether I would or wouldn't be leaving Italy with a brand new jumbo machinder for my collection. In these boxes is lots of stuff. No doubt lots of stuff. <laughs> but we, uh, we're gonna get to that next time, because we've seen so much. Uh, probably the last thing is I'm just going to see if he has got me a jumbo for sale. Has he got a jumbo that I can take back to England? I give you the Mazingas and you take them down. Okay. I love these boys. <laughs> uh, when you touch a part, it, you start to crispy. destroy. Yeah, crispy. yeah. I want Br to fix it because brutal. maybe it can be a memory of his father. Yeah, I, I like to fix the old toys. Uh, fixing for somebody else, I think it's a nice thing, I mean... Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that we don't have uh, many choices. Oh, but no, this is broken. Because if we had time, we should transplant this... Uh, 
let me see, maybe. Can you pass me, please, that? Uh, okay. To unscrew. Bye. Here we go. Okay. The first time I do it. Just for you to know. Ecco. Za. E uno. Okay. The replacement stickers. Yeah, yeah. One, two, two. and three. Uh, is it three? Yeah, no. When it comes to 70s toys, I don't mind it, a bit it, of replacement. It's easier to yeah. find them, but... I don't mind a little bit of restoration and reproduction on an old piece from this era. I don't mind. I like it. It's never going to leave my collection. It's going to you know, I feel responsible. No, no, it's... <laughs> They are like uh, sons, so... Oh, I know, I, I get it. I, I give you it. a son of mine. Yeah, I take good care of your son. Uh, so I feel responsible for that. I can't even find the replacement stickers for you uh, and ship it to you. Yeah, yeah, let me know. So after gathering up all of the Mazinga Z jumbos that Francesco had spare and checking to see which ones had the best parts, we managed to Frankenstein together the nicest one possible. So after all that, I suppose the question is, did it come home with me? And the answer is of course it did. So what I ended up getting from Francesco was this early 1970s Japanese poppy Mazinga Z. And as you can probably imagine, after saving my money and not picking up a jumbo at Toy Sesame, I was super happy to bring this guy home with me back to England. It does need some reproduction stickers and missiles picking up for it, but none of the little holders are snapped or broken. It's got the removable ship on the top of his head and both of his fists. So I'm completely buzzing with this guy. I can't thank Francesco enough for hooking me up with him and it's definitely going to be taking pride of place in my collection. So if you enjoyed this video today, please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if this is your first time here, then I'd love to know who you are, where you're from, and what you collect. We've got a great community here on the channel, everybody loves talking toys, and you're more than welcome to become a part of it. I'd also love to know if you spotted anything in Francesco's collection that you think I might have missed, or if there was any standout pieces that really took your fancy. Obviously, as you know, I'm all about the jumbos, but his entire collection is stacked with such gold, so I'd love to know which was your favourite piece that you saw in the video. Obviously, I also want to say a massive thank you to Francesco for the hospitality and for letting me come and film in his office. As I mentioned at the start of this video as well, Francesco is also an author who created a fantastic book about robot toys and action figures, so I'll put a link to that down in the description below so that you can check it out and see if you'd like to purchase one for yourself. You'll also find all the links to my social media handles down there as well, including the link to my Patreon, which is the best way to support me and the channel if you enjoy what I do and you want to see it continue to grow bigger and better than ever. As you'll probably know, I was in Rome because I'm working on a top secret slime house project that I can't talk about yet, but I just want you to get ready because it's going to be so awesome. I can't wait to announce it. It's like a dream come true for me what I've been working on out here and I'm really excited to talk about it as soon as I'm able to. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for that. If you can't wait though and you want to know what it is, then I have dropped some exclusive teasers over on the Slime Alliance Patreon and also on the Slime Alliance Patreon exclusive Discord thread as well. So yeah, if there was ever a reason for you to join the Patreon, the curiosity's got the better of you and you'd like to know what I'm working on out here, this big dream come true project then now is a great time to join the patreon so with all that said and done i'm out of here i'm fio kane this is slime house tv really hope you enjoyed this video today and until the next one i'm gone pow <laughs>